Now, in August of 1619, several Africans were brought to Virginia in bondage, beginning more than 200 years of slavery in the United States. 400 years later, scholars at VOA's town hall with Norfolk State University take a look at slavery's bitter roots and its lasting impact on America. VOA's Jesusame Oni has our report. Scholars, state officials, and students in Virginia took part in a town hall commemorating the 400th anniversary of the arrival of the first African slaves in what would become the United States. Panelists at the event, sponsored by VOA and Norfolk State University, reflected on the dark moments in American history. It's not just African people came to America, they were forcefully brought against their will, and they resisted every step and every moment of every day. And for the 246 years of slavery that followed, followed, civil rights activists say there should be some form of payment to the descendants of enslaved Africans. And when we talk about slavery, we can't talk about it just as an evil. That's one thing. But we also have to talk about it as theft, the theft of people's labor. Reparations doesn't just mean give somebody money. Reparations has to do with an overhaul to right a wrong. So we talk about equality, but we don't talk about equity. But slavery's bitter roots run deeper than just economically. The years that followed have led to a complex relationship between some African Americans and Africans born outside the states. For many um, um, Africans or, or Afro-Caribbeans coming to the United States, they may not be fully aware of this history of Jim Crow, et cetera, and, and how we have come to this point. Likewise. African Americans are not always very familiar with Africans. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know languages or customs. Mm -hmm. And if you're coming into this country without having a sense of how this house was built, yeah. we built it. And so I think a lot of African Americans are looking at people from the Caribbean and from Africa and saying, do you not understand the price we paid for you to come into this country as you have and take advantage of what's here? Many in the audience wanted to know what can be done amid what they see as persistent racial tensions in today's society. We need to learn how to create legacies for our communities. Um, in my lifetime, racism has never disappeared, so we need to work on building our communities, and you start financially. Cassandra Newby Alexander, Dean of the Liberal Arts College at Norfolk State University, adds that it's important to place a demand on future leaders. Their responsibility is to their broader community that they must leave that door open and ensure that other people follow them who look like them so that they're no longer at a boardroom and they're the only African Americans in that room. They have to make sure that that room is not just one or two, but at least half that they are representing many different voices in the community. Dean Newby Alexander adds, education is the key to changing communities and creating better legacies. Jason Samuel Newt, VOA News, Virginia.